episode 5 of print and paint today we have a demon the brute demon that's the name i'm on the website of duncan what's the name duncan luca so he's doing plenty of 3d model he got a patreon i think and on this website he had a lot of like free stuff but uh, paying model as well so i link the this one in the description so you can check the model and the, the website a really nice model so go check them out and yep so today I'm gonna do this one here we go I just was I was browsing around and saw this one and I was like yeah why not let's go back in G2Box auto support all the way um, reinforcing the base so the feet are gonna be the first to print go around then we check on island like usual uh, the tongue was not supported like some teeth as well so you just have to make sure you add those support for the, the small island and uh, make them really thin too trying to avoid any damage coming in later print came out great just gonna clean it being careful when you remove the support you don't want to break anything for example the, the tongue is really fragile here. okay done with the print uh, it's pretty good I had a small, really, really small uh, problem on one biceps. Can we focus? Uh, it's a bit squish. Like, I don't know what happened. There were probably an island on the tip of the biceps. But uh, everything came out great. I think I've printed at 110 uh, the scale. I should have went a bit more like as you can see it's not that big <clears throat> uh, maybe 150 would have been great um, but everything all the details they here the print came out pretty good and uh, I'm gonna prime it black then highlight with white on top I don't want to get screwed like last time it's paint Okay, I start with the base coat, so I'm going for some purple, reddish and magenta kind of color. Uh, I don't have enough different kind of paint, especially for blue and red, so I couldn't mix properly. I will do my best to try to shade the color of this model. Uh, but I, I wish I could have had more color difference. I'm gonna buy more paint for next time, I think. So now I'm doing the crystal for the base color. I go just classic red. Uh, when I'm done, so right now I'm trying to apply some shade. Like the whole body is purple, so I'm not trying to define any 3D, no, no, no volume. I'm just going around and put some shade on, on top. Uh, uh, some darker purple, like on the legs and arm, I think. Same for the feet. You can see a bit of lighter tone here on top of the arm. It's just to try to make the model a bit more diverse, even if everything is like skin tone and purple. Yeah. Right now I take some kind of between red and purple a bit pinkish uh, just define every muscle so I give the volume on the, the skin I wish I had a different color for this one really hard to mix colors when you don't have enough
So that's the first part for the skin. Finishing the end and some of the back. I'm trying to define some like darker point now, I think. Uh, I went with like purple and black, not, not fully black, and just go around the, the scene. Not too hard, I didn't want to make the same mistake as last time uh, with wash and everything. I didn't use wash almost, just a couple of times. So I kept the contrast a bit lower. I didn't want to ruin the paint job. So even if all the layers they don't blend really well, like the, the glazing is not perfect, I prefer to leave it like this and let the paint do the, the volume and the detail. Here I'm on some kind of orangey lighting. So I'm going on top on one side, like the light is coming from the top left. So I'm reflecting just some part of the, the model, some of the top edge and just one side of it with some a bit orange pinkish color just to give more detail and more vo volume as well. Going on the crystals now. They're really fun, first time I was painting this. Uh, it's a nice change, but it's quite tough to, to make it really, really, really good. I had a new angle for the camera, but my stupid head keep coming in the way. I try to avoid for now, next time. I'm blending, so I'm trying to blend the, the crystal, like try to make the color reflect and some darker point. So basically you have the edge, edge of the crystal in white and then some face of it are darker, some of them are a bit like fading from white to red, so you try to make some reflection. You, you need to have your glazing and transition going really smooth, it's not my case. <laughs> So I did my best for, for those parts. I've put some blue on the tongue, dark blue. I've tried green first off camera, it was really bad, so I kept it that way, highlighted. I kept the feet black a bit, so I kept them really dark purple and some black wash on top. And then I went back and put some highlight with purple try to define some like difference between the feet and the body. Now at the back I'm just washing a bit. It's not to make it dirty, it's just to make it darker. Okay, done with this one, the demon. The demon brute with the crystal, the red crystal that I've done. Uh, it was good, good to paint, really fun. I'm happy with the result, like it's not perfect uh, when I was trying to do the crystal and everything. I had some really good example that I find online. Uh, so I've done my best, but I'm happy with the result. Couldn't find the right color, I really need to buy more paint. But uh, it's pretty nice, so it's still on the, what I used to paint it. I uh, put some like wire and around some wood. Um, I'm gonna make the base in another episode. So this one just came like this. There's no base included with the model. So next episode, we're gonna make it on Tinkercad. We're gonna go around, find some base, make our own. So like maybe find one base, some rocks, combine everything together, try to make a good plate for this one and uh, finish the, the whole thing all together. So see you next time.